work trucks are everywhere. A mid-sized truck emits more CO2 than a car, gets worse mileage, and operates longer hours. Yet no one had extended hybrid technology to trucks. Now they have, thanks to a unique partnership between an environmental group and a Fortune 100 corporation. I think the partnership with FedEx, the development of the hybrid truck, is emblematic of the kind of work that we're doing in our corporate partnerships at Environmental Defense Fund. Environmental Defense has a reputation for wanting to bring solutions. In this case, the solution was obvious, though technologically challenging. So EDF, the group that pioneered corporate environmental partnerships, teamed up with FedEx and with Eaton Corporation, a global leader in vehicle powertrains. Together, they put the world's first hybrid delivery fleet on the road. It's an example of how we are trying to leverage the power of the private sector to create environmental value. We're using their purchasing power. We're using their supply chain power. We're using their market influence to achieve environmental ends. EDF has continued pushing the technology forward since those first FedEx hybrids hit the road. At the 2009 Work Truck Show in Chicago, the largest of its kind, manufacturers were marketing dozens of new hybrid models. On the show floor, uh, we've had the, the green pavilion uh, for three years, and, and all of those technologies and things were kind of centered there. This year, the exhibitors have actually put them into their booths, and they're using that as a draw to get the fleets and other end users to their booth. That's a sign that it's growing. It's becoming more mainstream. Replication is the key to EDF's partnership strategy, turning one company's project into an industry-wide innovation. What we're trying to create is industry-wide change, transformational change within an industry. And uh, with the FedEx project, I think we have created transformational change in the truck industry. That's just one example. EDF's partnership model focuses on finding new ways to create leverage beyond one-on-one -on -one partnerships. An example of that is Walmart. There is no company uh, that exerts greater influence in the marketplace than, than Walmart. Their supply chain is 60,000 companies strong. So by working with a company like Walmart, we can make change uh, globally. Climate Core is another innovative way that EDF is working with business. EDF dispatches a network of MBA students to major corporations where they develop energy efficiency investment plans. We launched this program just last summer for the first time as sort of a pilot. We had seven fellows that we placed in seven different companies. Uh, they found 120 million kilowatt hours worth of cost-effective energy savings. That's enough to power 10,000 homes. Even if you're an advanced uh, a company that has a program already um, underway, take a serious look at this because this uh, relationship that we are building with EDF has been absolutely ideal. In all of our partnerships, we're looking to create a new best practice, to innovate a new technology, a new business practice, a new service, a new product that then gets adopted by the others in that industry and really changes the way that industry addresses the issue. As environmental threats to our planet continue to grow, it is crucial for EDF to continue to catalyze environmental innovations with business and create new markets and opportunities for the future. EDF accepts no payment from its corporate partners, which enables the organization to maintain its independence and credibility. To learn more about the full range of Environmental Defense Fund corporate partnerships, visit edf.org partnerships.